in the feeder cable it's gonna it's gonna find uh Ooh. that's another four parts yeah it's kind of orange no you can't tell it doesn't really matter so hmm. uh, see how it's spliced here that's a splice Right there, that's the trunk cable that's feeding the amplifier. This is actually coming this way from the amplifier. So, it's probably a feeding tap. Oh, does the trunk cable keep going this way? Oh, what is that? Did I get that one? That's 2018. Oh, shit, that is it. You yeah, see how it comes in and it goes out the DC? That's, I knew it. See this trunk cable? It means the node is this way. This is some shoddy fucking work dog, but my tap is being fed from the left. But this trunk cable here is going from right to left. Because it's feeding the amplifier. And the tap is another four part. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You see the tap now goes this way and makes the right at this pole. This is still the trunk cable feeding the amplifier. The tap just goes that way. That probably dead ends somewhere. Or hits an Ellie or something like that. Uh oh fuck I was wrong. That dead ends there. Then you get mixed up, it happens. Alright, so the node is this way then. I ain't no way I missed it. Tap. Could be another amplifier, it happens. It's like called a cascade. That looks orange, is still 23? Does that mean there's no amplifier nearby? Oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> What's that? It's the amplifier. God damn. Mm. Alright, so that amplifier. Oh, no, stop. Hold on. I don't like this. There. Oh, no. Amplifier. Let's go back to him. Amplifier is right there. That's a scientific Atlanta amplifier. Now, based on my knowledge, because I'm fucking smart this is gonna go on to the casket that we've been following okay cool this is gonna go to tap see the splice is this a splice and some it's a fucking mess but what isn't it see on these sis on the scientific atlanta slash cisco amplifiers because cisco bought scientific atlanta sometime and sometime this is a auxiliary output no this is the main output this is auxiliary output this is also auxiliary output this is main input. So if we follow main input line, it's going to be the thicker trunk cable. It means node is this way. Let's see a fucking mess, but see the splice? It's probably a tap that Google just can't show worth the damn. So da 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 so you have terminates it's like pinkish it's probably 17 don't matter but this the stick boy this is what we're following that's the trunk cable so the signal is going to one another amplifier i'll be damned okay so this is a high power network because it's another scientific line so this is the feed port and the feed port is actually being fed by a dc some that's on the probably DC8, judging by the grayness of the fucking two pixels I can see. These two thick ass trunks. One goes in. And now a DC8 works is this this little area here. That's called the tap port. No, fuck, my bad. That's the out port. This is the tap port, which means say like 40 dBs coming in here. Then like 30 no. 10 db really goes into here and the other 30 
keeps going to the to the next amplifier and in return see this other port this is the main output no this is the auxiliary the auxiliary is not being used here why god fucking knows but see this 23 value tab i know it's a 23 because it's orange because if you go to fucking cisco where you look up 23 value tab oh damn i got a bunch of things i don't care about Yeah, see? And this light orange. That's how you know. But I like that this color code in Cisco's fucking consistent. So I'll go to Cisco. Cisco's had these color codes and shit. This shit is so ideal, dude. You have no idea. 20s are usually black. 17s and 17s are usually like a purple. 14s are a yellow. Fours are a pink, 26s are a blue, 29s are like a green. And and explaining the, this, this shit, the numbers is a different topic, but the numbers go from high to low. And then these fancy shits are for fucking something different. 26 forward, 20 reverse, doesn't matter. Anyways, we found an amplifier. Now this amplifier is again being fed from the right as per usual. So, we're gonna follow. Now, oh, went way too far. If I go to this pole, see how there's a tap here. The, the tap is coming from the amplifier, so it's going left to right. But the trunk cable is this thick old boy right up here that's spliced. And it's going from right to left in the amplifier, so we keep following it. Left to right, this is a tap. Right to left, that's the trunk. It just keeps going past. We don't care. What's that black? That can't be black. It's gotta be right. It's gotta be an eleven value. Ain't no way this far from amp you're getting a fucking twenty value. That ain't black. That's 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 brown or something. And brown is an eleven. This you only means the next tap should terminate. Right? If my brain is autistic enough. No, it doesn't. It's like a seventeen. It could be possible that the plant's boost. This is a Comcast plant, by the way. It's obvious to me, but not be obvious to everyone else. Now, I need a clear view on this pole to see which way the plant is going. So it goes into the tap. Damn, I cannot tell. Oh, wait, this is the ideal angle. Yeah, no. Actually, yeah, this, this is like a 17, maybe. It goes and wraps around. It goes that way. Down this little area. That's not what I noticed. See this slightly thicker boy? That's the node feeder. Or feeder from the node. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Come on, where's the magic pole at? And see how now the tab comes from left to right? That means the trunk cable keeps going. Which means. It did some splicing here, but it's okay. That's a, that's a splitter. I would say DC, but usually DCs are kind of brownish. That's a tap, thinner cable. See the trunk cable though, the thick ass cable? Oh no, that's so sad. That little den is gonna cause SNR issues, signal issues, all kinds of problems. Oh! But it's okay. Oh, and this dangling motherfucker right here. Sucks, so I'm not maintenance anymore. All right. Let's see, tap, trunk cable just flowing on by. We're getting close to the node. So we're what, two or three cascades deep? Two or three amps deep? Uh, no taps on this pole? That's crazy. Although it looks to be some ghetto AT&T splice. What is this, AT&T? This, this is an AT&T MST or whatever. It's, it's fucked. I need to fix this, but we have no tap on this pole for Comcast, which is tragic. Is that the note? Oh, oh no, no way. It's amplifier. Oh, this is going to get tricky. We're on a main road now. All right, we need to go look on the other side. So, uh, that's, that's DSL copper. That's a bit of pole left over. Um, what's LE? 
Oh, see, the trunk vehicle is just right by. I mean, we, we, we ain't even close yet, but but this is an LE that's right off of DC. So we're getting close because this, that's a 23 value 2 port. And that goes on that way to feed whatever the fuck needs to be fed that way. But we gotta be, we gotta be getting close, dude. Thicker trunk, thinner whatever. And look, a fiber line. That means we definitely getting close to something. Uh, that's kind of like a 20 value, but I really doubt it's a 20 value. Oh, shit. It's the node. It's an older node, but it's a node. Um, I really hate when Google does this shit, but I know a node. This is a DC, probably, or a splitter. This is a DC, or a splitter. This is a 8 port tap? It's a tap. And this node is fucking older than me. And then this is the power supply for the node. E10-8-108-B. So, we found the node again. Yay. Oh, this is a much better photo from 2023. See the fiber feeding it from the left. So extension joint on the right. These are all coaxial output ports. That's how you do it. And this guy is surveying. You see a little LED on his truck. Look at that one power supply. Two power supply. These may not be power inserters. These may not be splitters. They may be power inserters. Power inserters. Yeah, they're probably power inserters for the node itself. That's crazy. Anyways, we found the node. Yay.